Oh, empowering users. So this is a great question. Would love to hear how you empower your users. Are there any interesting stories from the community you could share with us? So again, like this is a community of learning, a community of education around a particular product. And one of the things that we did, um, and a lot of what I do, and, and I'm going to say explicitly, as a community manager, being a community manager is so multidisciplinary. It's so interconnected with you know, marketing, customer success, support, learning design, product management, right? It's got facets of all of those things. So if you're not um, fostering really great relationships, collaborative relationships, mentor, mentee relationships with members of your customer success team, please do. That's a huge part. That's like, like my big secret. Even though I became a community manager, I never stopped being a customer success manager. So really what I do is I sit down with anybody who's customer facing in the company every couple of weeks. I understand understand you know who are you working with what are the conversations that you're having with people because that allows me to understand where are the gaps where folks aren't feeling empowered they aren't feeling confident they aren't feeling that things are super clear and they're able to get to their goal because that's ultimately our goal at the end of the day it's just that it's reflected through our metrics right but the reality is that value that that gear change between not being confident, being a little bit lost and almost a little bit turned off, right? I'm going to unplug this. I'm not going to move any further to actually going, I get it. And I think if I keep putting one step in front of the other, I will get to what I want it to look like. So there's a lot of interesting stories from community, but I would say the biggest way is something that I did. It was called a master mix panel in 30 days channel challenge. Sorry. Um, three years ago, I ran it as an email um initiative so almost a course email with weekly calls to really get people who are beginners i think there's a lot of time we're talking to people who are intermediate and the folks who are beginners are overwhelmed they're not knowing what the jargon is and knowing what the reports are called and really really having something that's quite explicit for somebody to learn and kind of go from zero to 100 in a really held and supported way has been really powerful so actually this year what um, we brought it back this month specifically. I'm launching it as a beta and it's actually inside Slack. So it's a channel where instead of us having lots of emails and then a couple calls a week, what we're having is a private channel where every day for 30 days, I post a new educational video to these um, to the folks in the cohort. Um, we put the word out. I said I wanted 40 people. We have 70 people in the channel at the moment and I have 65 on the wait list for us to run this again in January and what happens with these videos they get introduced to new features and specific use cases in a bite-sized format and at the end of each I ask them to do something so whether that's in the sample data set or their own data or whether that is sharing something back to the group they're able to in many ways show they're working and start to have conversations around that it's really about piquing their curiosity because if you find out if you sit down and watch me teach you how to do something, then in theory, you know how to do it, right? So you've learned how to do it, but you're not necessarily empowered to do it. Whereas if I show you how to do something and I talk you through what you should do and you do it, and I ask you to prove that you've done it, you've stepped into this realm of being empowered to do it. Why? Because when you put the, the number of the conversion rate for the example that I gave you, you did that, right? Which means that you know with every cell in your body that you know how to do that that's empowering right another part of empowerment is that piece right speaking explicitly to our beginners not making people think that they're meant to know it all before they ask us a, a, a question also creating a very safe space where folks can go i didn't know that existed i didn't know that i could do that like that is a huge huge thing around empowering there are really interesting stories there are people who come into our community to ask questions because they're testing out a product and they want to know whether it can do that um there are also a lot of people in the community who are making their way in product management and they want to join here to learn from their peers so that's always really really interesting i think the other thing that's really interesting about community is that people will be brutally honest and in many ways i absolutely love that because it means that when i make a decision or i make a change there's something specific right i think it's interesting um when i think about founders who create companies you don't create a company about something that you're not passionate about that doesn't um irk you or irritate you right something that you really really want to transform and you want to see done differently so when we get feedback i take it as a precious gem right i take it as something that's really valuable because not only like everyone can have thoughts everyone can have opinions on something but it actually takes a certain level of care a certain level of involvement or engagement for you to take the time to write it in the Slack channel, to um, hop on a call with me to share more, right? All of those things are telling me you're engaged, but you might not be happy right now. But I'm cool because as long as we're